Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Josephine and on this channel we talk about fragrances. Today's video is how to kickstart your fragrance collection with $130. I know it may seem like a lot of money, but when it comes to perfumes, it's actually a pretty good amount for the amount of fragrances that I will be sharing today. So I have four perfumes for men and four perfumes for women that are extremely affordable and that will work in lots of different situations. So what is a basic fragrance collection? Well, for me personally, I think that you need to have a daytime scent, a nighttime scent, a scent for the spring and summertime, and another one for autumn and winter. So that totals four fragrances. So if you'd like to know what these affordable picks are, then please keep watching. Let's begin with the daytime scents and starting off with the men's cologne. It is Lalique pour homme. This is a beautiful bottle. Um, there's a lion's head that is engraved in the glass. It looks just stunning. And this is a very big size of a fragrance. It is 125 ml. So this perfume is a traditional, classic, masculine, fougère perfume. So if you are into those barbershop, soapy type of fragrances that smell very manly, this fragrance is done in a very beautiful way. I get a lot of aromatics in this scent. There's rosemary, but there's also lots of citruses and patchouli, moss, cedarwood. So again, very masculine, but also super traditional. This is a scent that is good for the daytime, but actually would work all year round if you're a fan of those barbershop fragrances. And this is such an affordable perfume. It looks great. The bottle is stunning and it's just a really good, no brainer, dumb reach scent for men. So that was Lalique pour Homme by Lalique. And onto the feminine daytime perfume. It is a celebrity scent, but not any celebrity scent. It is Still by Jennifer Lopez. Still by Jennifer Lopez is a really unexpectedly good celebrity perfume. It is so far with Cloud by Ariana Grande, one of my favorite celebrity perfumes, hands down. So this is a floral, fruity fragrance with undertones of tea. It is a happy, bubbly scent that just smells really good and very feminine. This is a trusty, good floral fragrance for women that is so perfect for everyday use. I absolutely love, love this scent. You have some jasmine, there's orange blossom, and some freesia that is blended with a light note of crisp green apple, which is what gives this fragrance a bit of a fruity character. And as it dries down on your skin, you get some musk and also this tea accord, which is so lovely. It's clean, it's uplifting, and really great for everyday use. So that was Still by Jennifer Lopez. Next up, we have the Nighttime Scents, and I have a really, really good one for men. It is L'Homme by Emmanuel Ungaro. This fragrance is really one that stood out in my Cheap Fragrances haul video. I will link it down below if you're interested in watching it. But essentially, I smelled this fragrance for the first time and thought, hmm, it's giving me some Dior Homme vibes. The more I smelt it, and I was like, hmm, this is actually a very good dupe for Valentino Womo Intense. So to me, this fragrance is a hybrid between Dior Homme, so it has a light Dior Homme feel, but it also has some Valentino Womo Intense vibes. So in this fragrance, the iris is done in a very powdery way. It's not the buttery, rich iris that you would find in Dior Homme. It's the iris that is very similar to the Valentino Womo Intense. I get spices, I believe there's some black pepper in this scent, but overall it is also woody and warm. And interestingly, there is a light, fruity peach touch in this perfume, which is very unexpected. And the way that it's done is it's done in a very fuzzy way. It's like the skin of the peach, so like the soft skin of the peach, which adds a little bit of pop to this fragrance, makes it a little bit more playful than say uh, Valentino Womo Intense and Dior Homme. So if you're looking for a very affordable version of say Valentino Womo Intense, that actually will last as well a solid eight hours on your skin, check out L'Homme by Emmanuel Ungaro. And for women, we are going a little bit bold here, a bit daring, with Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. This is a oud based perfume. I mean, look at this bottle. It's so over the top. 
It's like this gold sort of brick that is really reflective. I mean, it's great if you want to apply lipstick or something. You could just like take your fragrance and then see yourself in it. But anyways, uh, this is a oud based perfume. It is a very sweet praline oud with jammy rose undertones. So it's sweet, it's voluptuous, it's sensual and very sexy. This is a very bold choice for the nighttime. If you are a woman or a girl who likes fragrances that are strong, powerful and impactful, Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian is just that. And it's not necessarily the most natural smelling oud. In fact, it's very synthetic. But it works really well. I think it does smell very nice. And so if you are into fragrances like Lancôme ou de Bouquet, you will probably really enjoy this scent. And actually, it's a pretty good dupe for Lancôme ou de Bouquet. So if you can't afford Lancôme ou de Bouquet, but you want something that smells similar to it, that has fantastic projection, really great longevity, check out Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. And now onto the winter scents as we enter to, into the colder months. So let's begin with the ladies' choice. It is a fantastic fragrance from Zara. It is Sandalwood. This perfume is an excellent dupe for Santal 33 by Le Labo, and actually probably the most affordable dupe as well. Now, it differs with Santal 33 in the sense that the leather is really toned down in this fragrance. It is essentially there in a supporting role. So if you find that the leather in Santal 33 is too strong, too prominent, I mean, I certainly do, you will probably love this. I personally prefer the Sandalwood by Zara than the actual original Lulabo fragrance. So that's saying a lot because I can be very picky with my niche fragrances, but for sure I really, really love uh, the Sandalwood by Zara. So this fragrance celebrates really the creaminess of sandalwood. It's very milky and it has some iris as well. So you get the powderiness, just a touch of iris in this scent. I mean, it's not natural iris for the price of this. It's for sure a synthetic iris, but nonetheless, it smells very good. And then as I said, you have a little bit of leather to really support this perfume. This fragrance is phenomenal when it comes to performance. It will last on your skin, I am not joking, a solid 12 hours. It is just fantastic. It's under 20 pounds, which is crazy. This is totally niche quality worthy. If you have a Zara near you, definitely check out this perfume from them. This is one of the best Zara fragrances that I have ever smelled. And for the men, we have Yup. Um, I hope I'm saying this correctly because in my other video, I couldn't pronounce the brand name. Yup or Joop, I, th I think it's Yup. Yup, um, J-O-O-P exclamation point. Um. This is a fantastic, a woody, spicy fragrance for men for the autumn and winter time. I find that it is very intense. I get a honey, waxy feel from this perfume, just as if a wooden table or wooden chairs were just freshly waxed with beeswax. That's what I get from this scent. And there's also a lot of spices. It's sexy, sensual. It's a really beautiful oriental perfume for men. If you're into woodsy and spicy fragrances that have a bit of sweetness and you like honey, I think this scent is a really great one to discover. This fragrance in the dry down develops a soapy, patchouli-like character that feels extremely luxurious and overall feels very gentleman-like. I find that this scent is a classy perfume and a very classy, affordable scent. So if you're into classy, woodsy, spicy fragrances for the autumn time, definitely check out this perfume. For the summertime, let's begin with the ladies. We have Water Lily Tea Dress by Zara. This is the Jo Malone or Jo Loves collaboration with Zara. And they have a fantastic range of fragrances. And I have to say, Water Lily and Tea Dress is such a lovely, fresh floral green perfume for spring and summer. So it has notes of bergamot, of mint and musk, but essentially this perfume smells like really fresh watery florals and freshly cut grass. So if you're into like these green floral lily type of fragrances or muge fragrances, this is just that. And for me, it's really reminiscent of a British summer. You're having picnic on the grass with friends and that is just what I get from this scent. It is also quite similar to fragrance like Pleasures by Estee Lauder. So this floral green 
feel about the scent, but it's less musky and the florals in a Water Lily tea dress are more layered and complex than in Estee Lauder Pleasures. So if you enjoy those type of fragrances, check out Water Lily tea dress by Zara. And the last fragrance we have for men is Nautica Voyage by Nautica. This is a fabulous summer freshie for men. It smells very similar to a beloved fragrance of mine, Chrome by Zaro. If you've been watching my channel, you know what it's about. This is a very affordable version of Chrome by Zaro. This fragrance is a typical aquatic, out of the shower, freshy type of a fragrance. This is a no-brainer perfume, extremely versatile for the summer months. You can really wear it all throughout the day. It has relatively good longevity as well and essentially it's a dumb reach fragrance. This perfume is the type of fragrance that will get you a ton of compliments as well. It's very mass appealing and actually a pretty safe blind buy as well, especially given the price of it. So compared to Chrome, I would say that it's a little bit different. It has mimosa in this perfume that is giving it a bit of a powdery honeyed feel and also some green apple for a bit of an added sweetness, but overall, it has a very similar profile and it's a really great fresh fragrance for men. And yeah, I think this fragrance is just such a fantastic fragrance for men for the summertime. So that was Nautica Voyage by Nautica. And this is it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Let me know in the comments down below what affordable fragrance you enjoy to wear. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in another video. Bye.